Are you recording yet? Mm -hmm. Are you recording right now? Yeah. Now? Yeah. Hi! I'm Donnie. This is my wife, Ellie. We have two kids, Olivia Shea and Liam Danger. We live in Waco, Texas. And a while back, we thought, man, our life's crazy with two kids. Let's buy a bus! So that's what we did. We bought Barb. Barb's gonna be our home. And we decided to convert her with you guys. So come along for the ride, enjoy, and man, I hope this works out. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our bus. This is Living Our Bus Life, and I just want to tell you guys a couple things about the bus real fast. That way you guys can get a little gist of what's going on. We have taken out the ceilings, we have taken out the floors, all the rubber and stuff like that, and there's somebody walking up my driveway, hold on. What are you fellas doing in here? Uh, we're renovating our bus into our tiny home. What are you doing here? That's not important. My name's Daryl. How's it going? So what made you kids want to do something like this? Is it just like uh, one of them crazy hippie thingies? Uh, a lot of people think we're crazy. No, not really. Uh, we actually want to do this because we realized we were living in our house to live in our house for things. We weren't really living in our house to like enjoy time with each other and things like that. It was to fill it up with stuff. We just realized we don't want that. We want to be able to do things, spend time with each other, go out, adventure, uh, instead of spending money on a mortgage or uh, you know things like that. We we want to do things with our family, let our kids see things that we didn't get to see his kids and experience a life that we think would be a little bit more fulfilling and so that's one reason that we're doing this yeah well Doug, I'm not gonna understand that I got me like four backhoes and a couple tractors I got too much crap in my house I, other day I found a hog in my house didn't even know I had a hog why don't you just buy yourself one of them there fancy RVs then we thought about buying an RV uh, but we realized with the bus we'd have more our own floor plan. We'd have an open shell to do whatever we wanted. RVs already kind of have their own floor plan. I mean, we could gut it, but by the time we bought an RV and gutted it, put more stuff in it, I feel like we would be putting more money in it than we would this way. Also, we felt that this was cheaper, it was better for our lifestyle, and we could pick the size of bus we wanted, the style of bus, gas, diesel, so on and so forth. Uh, we just thought a bus would be a better way. All right, well, this is a pretty big here machine. Uh, what's under the hood? She got one of them diesels or something like that, or one of them Hemis, or she got power to her. Yeah, Daryl, uh, she's got a 366. She's pretty old, but she's a 91 Carpenter GMC. Uh, yeah, it's just a regular 366 gasoline. It doesn't have a diesel. It doesn't have a Cummins or a Hemi or anything like that, just a normal 366. So dadgum, boy, what are you gonna do? Put in here some, like, uh, some kites? Maybe uh, get your bottle of water to wash off with? Get, maybe go down by the river and wash your pits and stuff? Uh, no, Daryl, uh, it's gonna be a fully functional machine. Uh, they'll have a couch, we'll have a kitchen with a sink and a stove. Uh, there'll be a bathroom that has a shower and a toilet, and there'll be uh, in the very back of the bus, there'll be some beds. It'll be a, a regular house. It'll just move. Well, how many people supposed to live in this thing? Is it just you and your wife? And if it is, can I join? Yeah, well, it was nice to meet you, Daryl. Uh, come back by any time. Well, I'll be back by later to check her out, um, see what she's going to be like. If you need any help, call me. Maybe sometime I'll drop by and help you uh, tinker with her a little bit. Bye. Bye. See you later. See ya. Bye. Goodbye, Daryl. That guy was weird. What we've done since the last, whenever before Daryl got here, uh, I was gonna tell you, we got the floor done. We had to put Rust-Oleum down, starting to frame in the wheel wells. Next will be the ceiling. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Hey guys, hope you liked our video. Uh, hope you enjoyed Daryl. He's our mediator to the questions that we get all the time about our bus and things like that. There'll be more content to come kind of like this. Uh, it'll change. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked our videos and live your bus life.
sounds harder than catching a greased up pig.